uh, here with Brad Evans, head coach. Uh, Brad, just the mark of a good team is always, in my opinion, is how they respond to adversity. And after losing back-to-back -back matches this past weekend, you, you probably found some stuff out about your, your team. Um, can you kind of talk about that, if you don't mind? Sure. I mean, you can learn good things. You can learn not-so-good things. Sure. And it's a learning process. And obviously, you know, um, you know, we just go forward with what we know. We, we, we try to... You know, expectations are always a dangerous thing in this line of work. Um, you know, we've 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 got some very good pieces to build from. We've got uh, players that are working hard. Um, there's some areas of our team which we have to continue to improve, like every year. And mm -hmm. you know, we've, I've been through this before. Um, mm -hmm. Our teams haven't started particularly well, but it's again, you know, we're we're going to be measured by how we do in the Mid American Conference at the end of the day. And you know, we've got a couple weeks to try and get better for that time of year, um, you know, and that's the, the, the mark of what we're going to be judged by. So that's where we're uh, focusing our attention on getting better. Mm -hmm. uh, this weekend, IPFW under the lights. It's always exciting to play a game at night over there. Um, it's going to be their home opener, so there will probably be a pretty sure. good crowd and uh, the players will be pretty fired up. And then two days later, playing an NCAA championship participant in Texas. Um, you know, I know it's only Tuesday, but what can you tell me about the Macedons and the Longhorns? Um, you know, we don't know too much about either team yet. And, and obviously this time of year, I, you know, you got to balance out what you're going to be uh, focusing on on your opponent or how much you're going to be focused on trying to get better at the things that you know will help your team long term. So it's a little bit of a balancing act. And, um, you know, IPFW has gotten consistently better. Mm -hmm. I think you can see there, you know, for what you can get from exhibition results. We played Butler close, um, you know, and so that that by any stretch is going to be a challenging game when you play a home opener. And obviously our, our travel schedule, you know, you know, home away last week and then now away, up and back, and now traveling again, you know, that has a, an effect on us too, and, and that's okay. It's it, those kinds of things we have to overcome. Texas, I uh, don't know too much about, new coach, um, you know, got a little bit of information that we'll, you know, look at, but at the end of the day, they're probably going to be better at than us athletically, and we're going to have to figure out a way to compete, you know, and, and, and we like to play against teams, and I think we have four NCAA tournament teams on our schedule this year, so mm -hmm. we want to see these teams, and if we are fortunate enough to make it back to the NCAA tournament, we'll have some experience against different types of teams, so, um, you know, that's part of the rationale for doing these kinds of things. Um, the back line, getting everybody kind of on that same page. I know you probably sure. took Monday off, but came back today and uh, worked out. Um, you know, just a matter of, you know, you got some great pieces back there, uh, a lot of veterans, and then um, sure. Angelica Hernandez as well is, you know, very athletic back there as well. That really bodes well for you. To, you know, when you don't give up goals, you can't lose. <laughs> Except we gave up four goals in two games, right? Um, yeah. You know, we, we've got to get better. I mean, that's no doubt about it. That's unacceptable, the, the conceding of goals, and it's a coordinated thing. It's not just backs. It's backs, mm -hmm. it's goalkeepers, it's forwards, it's midfielders, it's everybody. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of work to do to become more cohesive. What I have liked to have been further along than we are, sure, but we're not. So we work from that point and go forward and try and get better. Um, you know, so it's, it's, there's not much you can say about continuing to refine and, sure. and, and, and improve you know, the parts and the collective. Mm -hmm. And my final question is offensively, um, I know only scoring one goal, um, but when you look at it, you guys out have outshot your opponents 21, I think, to 13, especially uh, having a decisive advantage in the first half. You guys are getting opportunities, and that's got to bode well for you because you do have some uh, goal scores that, you know, that can put the ball in the back of the net. Well, you know, it bodes well only if you finish um, at the end of the day and, and creating – not all of those were great chances, but we did create some quality chances between the two games. And you know, you got to take your chances, obviously, and that's a story as old as time in the sport. And, you know, at the end of the day, we have no seniors playing in the you know as forwards except Blair, who's seen a little bit of time up there and mm -hmm. saw some in midfield too. So it's a young, young group. But that's it's hey, we got to get better. Mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, the story that each each group's taken this week and continue to get better a little bit at a time, and then we'll we'll measure ourselves at the end of the season. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you, and uh, best of luck this weekend. All right. Thanks much.